We are here training with Global Girl Media and we're deeply affected by the issues that are going on in our community. So as a mother and a member of the community, how is this, how are the situations making you feel? I think women start from a position of, I don't know enough and I'm not good enough. If women don't run unless we ask them to run. Men wake up in the morning and think, geez, I'd make a great governor. Women don't really think that way because they're not raised that way. lives matter. We also have Latino lives um, that we're not talking about and Native American lives and the lives of immigrants in our oceans and, and women who haven't been at the table. I was really interested in being more politically engaged on campus. Research shows that when women are in elected office, women, families, and children do better. We're not here to play games and uh, see who's the loudest voice uh, on the Senate floor, but to really bring meaning and purpose of the issues that are happening right now. I think the First Amendment, honestly, is to understand that girls can be powerful voices. They don't have to all subscribe to the same ideology, the same political party, the same religion. I want to tell every girl that she does have a voice, that people will listen. And in fact, people are inspired when they hear from young women. an opportunity if we were to uh, blow this system up, and I don't mean by dynamite, uh, I don't mean by firearms, I'm talking about with our minds. My name is Kalela Joseph and I'm reporting for Global Girl this Media. This is Precious with Global Girl Media and we're here at the Pasadena Convention Center covering the Politicon event. Imani Crunch out here with Global Girl Media and it is day four of the 2016 Democratic National Convention. I'm happy for grandmothers and little girls. I'm happy for boys and men because when any barrier falls in America, it clears the way for everyone. After all, when there are no ceilings, the sky's the limit.